Now there are uh, many ways of locating uh, elements on a web page. Basically, we call elements as a, a web element, right? So we can find the web element by ID, by name, by XPath, by CSS selector, by class name, by tag name, by link text, by partial link text, and then and then uh, let's say if we want to find more than one element or a group of elements, then we have some methods like find elements by ID, by name, by XPath, and all all the other locators. So these are very important uh, locators. It will actually going to help us in automating uh, each and every element on a web page. We can easily handle by using these techniques and we will be learning about these techniques in depth in this course. Of course, if you know uh, how you can uh, handle elements on a web page, how you can manipulate them, uh, then you can uh, automate any web-based applications, right? Because we'll be learning uh, to how to handle each and every element on a web page, like radio button, links, text box, check boxes, drop downs, menus, mouse overs, drag and drop sliders. Each and every element that you see on a web page will try to automate that element. And if you are able to handle all elements on a web page, then uh, no matter whichever application, whichever website that you open, you're going to find the same elements on any website. And uh, if you're able to handle them, you can automate any website in the world.